Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're expecting nearly 100,000 people per day. The Formula One Canadian Grand Prix returns to Montreal this week. Thousands are coming to the city and authorities are asking people to plan their travel accordingly, to use public transit and be ready for traffic delays. It's sure that an event like uh, the, the Grand Prix Formula One in Canada has an impact on traffic, so that's why we recommend people to use public transit. You can expect there will be uh, more car than ever uh, around the island of Montreal uh, during the weekend. Festivities kick off in the downtown core on Thursday, including the Crescent Street Festival with expected street closures. Crescent will be closed starting today at 4 p.m. between St. Catherine and Sherbrooke. There's a lot of uh, activity here, especially for the kids, love for Grand Prix. The way to enjoy all those festivities coming in Montreal with commuting uh, with public transit. So the metro, the buses will be good, good tips. Uh, but there's also Le Rem from the South Shore or if you're from Laval, why don't you try the SRB? I like to use public transport because as there is a lot of traffic. F1 weekend is also a big win for Montreal businesses. For downtown Montreal, Grand Prix weekend is literally Christmas in June. It really what makes the difference for a lot of our businesses, whether or not they can survive the rest of the year, uh, you know, depending on the cold winters, the construction, the unexpected protest, a uh, successful Grand Prix really means that they can have have a profitable year uh, at the end of it. So the estimates are some, somewhere around $100 million of economic impact on the city of Montreal. We're talking about a lot of expenses in restaurants, hotels, retailers, uh, and really people spending in various businesses downtown. It's the beginning of the year where we start uh, our summer. And uh, what's nice about it that uh, they're all, they come in from all over the world. I, I get customers from uh, Germany, Brazil, Australia and every year they come down it's uh, one of the best uh, times of the year it, it starts the year for everybody so everybody can pay the rent again the race is set for Sunday at 2 p.m. we'll have to see if Max Verstappen can make it a three-peat he won the race here in both 2022 and 2023 or if someone else will take the win who do you think is gonna win the race uh, I Leclerc we like to, uh, to remind Montreal is to come and be in tourist in your own city. Come see what the fuss is all about. In Montreal, Adriana Gentile, City News.